Can you solve this question? Cool, so let's walk through guys. If you have a equals minus two, what we've got, what is three a squared minus four a? All right, let's work it out together. This is what a lot of people do, which is wrong. You gotta be really careful. So when they do it, they chuck in here, minus two into there, minus two into there. Let's see if you guys know why it's wrong. So when you sub it in, it's gonna give you here, you got three times minus two squared, minus four times minus two as well. When you simplify it, you'll get minus 12 plus eight. And then in your calculator, or if you simplify it manually, you'll get minus minus four, okay? But this is very wrong, okay? I'm gonna show you guys exactly why though. What you should be doing instead is you need to be substituting this in, but you need to use brackets. This is so easy, but a lot of people just forget to do it, okay? And it's free marks, free easy marks. So I'll show you what I mean. When you substitute it in, when you put that minus two in for A, okay, it's gonna be three times minus two squared, minus four times minus two as well. When you simplify this, okay, that minus two squared here, this is gonna give you a positive four. So this is where the error came from before, because minus two times minus two, it's gonna give you, it should give you a positive four because you got two negatives, right? Without those brackets, it screws up. So then you get the minus four, that's why it screws up. It should be three times positive four, plus eight here because we got the plus eight be minus four times minus two, so positive eight. So then three times four is 12, plus your eight is gonna give you your 20. So you'll get that as well, correct, if you sub it into your calculator with the brackets, so that's very important. That's how you get it correct. Cool, so now pro tip, Jono's pro tip, always wrap your substituted values in brackets. This avoids negative sign mistakes, weird calculator outputs, and mark loss. All right. Follow here so you can avoid losing any more silly marks in the next exam.